Joel with Gatecrafters here with some preventative maintenance on the ES1000H or dual swing gate opener. Uh, sometimes over the years uh, moisture can work its way into the motor housing and what we can do to prevent that from causing any damage over the long haul is to drill some holes in the bottom of the motor housing and what this is going to do is it's going to allow the water to drain out the bottom. So what we're going to do is simply flip the arm over by removing the pins exposing the bottom of the arm put your pins back in the bottom of the arm with some painters tape so we can mark some places to drill holes so we're just going to put this right here and what we're going to do is try to get in the right in the center so we have a good reference point. Then we're going to take a ruler and measure a half an inch from this junction right here, then five inches, and then eight inches. And what this is going to do is going to guarantee that when you drill the hole through there, it's not going to hit any vital components because when you open this up these are all free and clear when you drill through them so I'm going to take an eighth inch drill bit just drill holes through uh, and you still want to be careful that you don't let the drill get all the way in there because okay you can see as soon as it went in I let up so it didn't go too far in there just to make sure we don't hurt any of the motor components but you notice I'm not putting much pressure down just so when it does break through it doesn't go too far in there like I said before let the drill do the work It's not perfectly lined up, it's not a huge deal, but this will give it a, uh, the water a chance to drain out. Like I said, if over years of usage, sometimes the water can get back into these housings and this, uh, these holes will let it drain out and lengthen the lifespan of your gate opener.